that's a great one. Oh. I have always wanted this kind of floor. It says mustard. I'm really worried about the colour of it. Oh, I know it. He's going to be starting school. It says they can only bring it up six stairs. It's all local ones from school. This arrived last night. It's been beautiful today. Really not sure. Good morning and happy Monday. Welcome to another week of chaos. Can you see behind me? Look at that mess. So we've got the plugs going in there, a light up there. Um, the electrician now been here for about three days. Rerouting wires, we've got wires there for our island. Yeah, I'm so excited. Apparently this kitchen is supposed to arrive this week. I'm yet to get my email. Fingers crossed, I've sent it to the right address. And then I don't quite know what we're going to do, whether I can get it up here and sat up here or whether I just need to leave it in the garage. I think apparently it depends on what kind of delivery guys you get. So we've gone for a DIY kitchen uh, where we've kind of done it ourselves as well, which means my husband is going to fit it. He doesn't quite realise that. I've tried to get a fitter, um, but you can't really get them. And I think that he's more than capable of doing it. Obviously he's never fitted a kitchen before. Um, anyway, today I've just done rubber pots and now I'm back um, doing some work. I've got loads of different campaign pieces which I need to do and photograph. I must, and one of them just remember just now, uh, that I need to do today. And then I am just doing millions of different pickups and things. So it's all go, go, go here. Um, but I wanted to just show you the carnage of this space because hopefully very soon not quite sure when there will be a kitchen here in this space so what does he actually have to do so you have to um what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to do the letters and then you need to spot 10 things oh it tells you what to do matilda's teaching raf to read ah. What letter is that, Raph? Do you know what letter it is? Do another side. Do you know what letter it is? No. You don't know? What does it, it's a T. What's a T for? Do we know? What about Tilly. Tilly. That's a great one. Or ten. Or Tilly. train. It's Tilly. Tilly. It is Tilly. What's that? A teapot. Well done. <laughs> So this morning, um, the playroom is getting a makeover. So we are sorting out all the craft things. So the girls have this as their craft desk, which obviously is a tip at the moment, but we're gonna put craft stuff actually in this cupboard here now. And then we've kind of moved stuff around. So over here is like the sofa area um, where they can sit and then watch TV. Anyway, it's a bit of a mess, but it will be tidy. Melissa is on a mission this morning to <laughs> sort this out. Yeah, it's such a mess. Just heading out on a walk. I'm doing a fast walk this morning and then gonna go back and do a hit class on YouTube. I've got this lady that I really like, so I'm gonna do her hit class, but I just thought I'd show you my little walk along the river really pretty um, the garlic is like in full bloom now it still smells like amazing so the whole thing here just smells of garlic all the way along it's quite nice at this time there's not many people out and it's calm and quiet you can hear the birds so I'm gonna listen to a podcast I think I think I might do a walking like meditation one I quite like those I'll try and put a link to it below the one that I'm doing but I've done quite a few recently I really like them I think it's very pretty isn't it good afternoon it's um Tuesday Think there just had a guy come out to measure for carpet in that room there so that in there will be our lounge 
stroke study separately it's really hard to describe but i have always wanted this kind of floor in the lounge area so i've got a load of samples it's from this company here called crucial trading and then there's also another one called alternative flooring so i have got samples for them both i kind of thought oh i'd like something like this but actually it's really quite I don't know, quite hairy it might be horrible to walk on actually it feels like a bit like you know when you go in a marquee or a tent and it kind of feels a bit like that so maybe not that um and then i quite like this kind of herringbone effect but i think as well it might just be a bit much and things will get stuck in it these are the berries here you can see so those are from ochre and then these little green ones here are from ochre too can you see that there all right so oh and i've also got those are separate vials obviously and then the eucalyptus is like a mixture of different places there's some from neptune here and there's some cheaper stuff which have kind of intertwined into it anyway i love this vase because you can't see their foe and i have a real problem with see-through vases maybe not that one so much these are from oh i just nearly fell over uh little bud and because i think maybe it's got a pattern on it you can't really see that there's no water in it but i just hate when they look really fake so that's why i wanted to look for some vases like this which were already in this is a neptune vase i've had it for quite a while now but i always use it and i have it on the table as a big kind of display normally so i'm thinking of getting rid of this table i'm not sure if i said this already but i really love round tables like when you sit at a round table, there's something really nice about sitting all together and being able to talk to people opposite and next to you, and it just works really well. And here, it's just, it's basically that piano that's the problem. Really, we should just get rid of the piano. This was my eBay find, and my husband hates it because it takes up too much room. It's, you know, really battered and old and actually needs, like, sanding down and looking after. And it needs tuning and all those sorts of things, so really, we should just get rid of it. But it was a palaver to get it in here, so I'm just kind of leaving with it and I want to work around it. So I'm thinking a round table here. I've seen one that I really like in La Residence. It is the same make as this puff. I get asked all the time where this Ottoman puff thing is from. I've had it for years now. I would not recommend it if you have small children, just like my sofas. The colour does not work with grubby little hands. Um, so it's been a bit of a disaster in that respect, but they do have it in a dark grey and I wish I'd done that. But anyway, I clean it as often as I can, but don't look too close because it's really grubby. But the table I have seen is this kind of wood i don't know really what you call that and i think would look really nice there it's extendable as well so we could have extend it when people come and then keep it smaller when the people are not here and i just then move that table out to the balcony outside i think this table my husband made when we moved in here we didn't know what we wanted everything was astronomical but we needed something big for all of us to sit at i'm a massive fan of eating dinner all together and so i wanted this to be the eating space where i'm standing now will be an island which i'm hoping that we will use a lot and sit around and then when we're all eating together we will then sit at the table the legs for these were from ebay and literally it is um decking from outside so he's just put it all together and put some batons on it and made it i mean it was really really cheap and it's lasted us three years now it's been great but i really would like something like a proper table in this space something to go with all the beams if i head back here you can see the space a bit more apologies for the mess but you can see the real mess here look at this i didn't show this on instagram would i so i think a round table would look really nice there and tie it all in together yeah and the, the only one i have found is this one on the residence and it's really nice i love it i need to save up Good morning. Um, I think it is now uh, the Wednesday. There we go. I've just been filming some stories on my Instagram, so I thought I'd come down here and show you two. This is the finished wall 
Do, 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 and I absolutely love it. This is probably a better colour over here. I've got this horrible light on. It's very grey outside, so it's not a great light. I love the scalloped edge. Isn't that just stunning? He's done it so well. I love this um, painter that we found. He's amazing. Um, so we have a bunk bed due to arrive here, which I somehow need to build, which I'm kind of dreading that. So I don't know when that's going to come. And we're going to have a double on the bottom and then a single on the top. Matilda's decided she'll go on the top and Phoebe will have the bottom. I'm not sure how this is going to go. But as I've said in previous videos, they actually have to share a room because we do not have a spare room. So yeah they don't like that but then actually when they're not here if one of them's on a sleepover then they really miss each other so I think it's like me and my sister I think we'd like each other really but we would tend not to um so I'm actually going to be building a cabinet in here we're going to be getting rid of these cupboards I think they're just going to go straight to the tip they've just been repainted millions of times and they're just horrendous so it's a big yellow cabinet i'm going to try and do a time lapse after this to show you building the cabinet i'm not very good at building stuff and my husband's far too busy to build it so i might try and rope in my lovely au pair and see if she will help me we are slowly clearing out stuff though that's in here it's a real mess of stuff so that is our mission, Melissa and myself. But I wanted to just show you the paint again, in case you're interested. So this is from Designer Paint. Uh, it's a little green paint. We've used their paint all over the house and we absolutely love it. My husband's used it and paints with it and recommends it. This colour here, it's there, it's called Ac Aquamarine Mid. So it's kind of, it's different in different lights. It's really hard to describe. It's kind of like a, a duck egg blue, I would say. Uh, but a really nice one. It's kind of greeny, grey, blue. It's beautiful. I'm going to be moving these iron beds. So one of them will go into Raf's room. So we're going to turn that around. And then he's, we're going to put one of these spare in the garage. I might sell it. I'm not sure. But I do love these beds. We've had them for quite a while. They're really nice iron beds. But we just need some more space in here. And just a bit of a declutter just got this lampshade it's arrived from Dunelm it's kind of like a scandy -y looking one I think uh, they've got quite a new range in there I'm hoping that when the light's on it will kind of reflect in this especially when it's dark you know make shadows which is kind of what I wanted this is the actual wallpaper itself we have a bit left I'm thinking what can I do with this I might just go on Pinterest and see what be good to do with wallpaper I might or I might just use it as wrapping paper actually so it's, it's not it's not even a full roll so there's not much left but yeah it's beautiful I'm really pleased with the print and I hope it will last more than three years the pink room didn't last more than three years before they hated it it was probably a bit of a mistake painting it bright pink anyway we live and learn don't we um today i'm working on some emails i've got some campaign shoots that i've got to get done i'm organizing an event at the end of may um so it's all go 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 here uh but hopefully i'll try and pop on later um again tomorrow is really busy every day is a busy day but i wanted to just show you so you can have an idea let me go back here of what it looks like oh my gosh look at that scalp edge beautiful right here we go we're going to um unwrap this and build it so this is from habitat it says mustard i'm really worried about the color of this i'm hoping it's yellow on the website it looked yellow but maybe it's going to look more mustard than yellow i'm a bit worried anyway we are going to do a time lapse here i've got it all set up of the cabinet i probably need some screwdrivers don't we let's open it up and just see <laughs> <laughs> this is going to go well. So the time lapse um, cut out, but we found a screw with missing screws. Here it is. It's slightly impractical because now we're like what we're going to put inside i think we're going to need to get like bask i think there's ikea cube mm. like three cubes maybe like for to, yeah i think you're right jumpers or pajama jumpers maybe i don't know it's not very practical this at all 
I like the colour though. Let's go and see what it looks like in situ. We're now on a roll and we're actually going to sort out this room. So this is Rafferty's bedroom um, and he is still in a cot bed. He is desperate to have a big boy's bed but we've kind of resisted and actually we now need to sort this room out. So what we're going to do is move this wardrobe which takes up way too much space can you see here and actually put it over here and then have the bed hopefully here and the chair behind me I'm thinking I'm not quite sure how this is going to work but we need to first of all dismantle this bed and then somehow get another bed in but we are on a roll today Melissa and me to get this house sorted out Good afternoon, I think it's um, Thursday and I've had a most manic day, I think it's nearly 5 o'clock and um, we're about to head off to the dentist, we've got a late appointment with them Gosh it keeps um, coming out, I um, am running out of space on this memory card, I just need to replace it What was I going to say, I've completely forgotten it's the most manic day ever. I ran a play group this morning, which was great. Lovely to meet some new mums and things like that. And then I have just been running from one play date to the next play date, mainly because it's a Raf and me day today. And before I know it, he's going to be starting school, and that's it. It's over for us. So I feel very, very sad about that. He's currently listening to his to Peppa Pig. He loves Peppa Pig on the Yoto box. He loves it. I totally recommend these Yoto boxes. I was sent it part of a campaign on um, Instagram, and I've never really been that into all of that before. Like we we've we've kind of done always just read stories, and um, or they've done things on their iPads if we were away or something and so I've never really had one of these story things but it's actually really good totally recommend it, he loves Peppa Pig the girls are really enjoying it too Phoebe's listening to The Secret Garden at the moment and she loves it so if you're thinking of getting like a nice present for um, for Christmas or birthdays or something like that or a grandparent present then I totally recommend it really really good um, so yeah he's been listening to that all afternoon playing with his toys which is really nice and then I've just been trying to get on with some work I've got a few campaigns coming up um, things to do with the new kitchen so I am waiting to hear I still haven't heard I phoned the kitchen people yesterday and I was like hi just checking you're coming and they were like yes so delivery could either be Friday Saturday or Sunday and they're gonna let me know by tonight when it's gonna be and they give you a two-hour slot so I'm slightly nervous because we've got nowhere to put this kitchen, not much space in the garage and I don't think they're going to carry it upstairs to this room. So I think me and my husband are going to have to log it up here somehow. I'm not very strong, I don't know how. So I don't know how that's going to happen. Um, and he's working pretty much every day so I really don't know when that's going to happen. It's going to have to happen at night I think. We are heading off to the dentist. I'm waiting for the girls to get back from school and then we are heading off to the dentist for our checkup, um, which we haven't been to for ages. So we're rushing out to do that tonight. And then I've got a manic day tomorrow as usual. So I will see you then. I'm sorry I haven't really been on. I've been sorting out stuff, life, admin, ugh. So my new Beauty Pie order has arrived. Um, I use quite a bit of Beauty Pie products. Um, this is the conditioner though and the shampoo and I have never used these before so I'm quite excited to try these I think they were £8 so it's quite a lot in there I normally am really bad and buy my hair shampoo in the supermarket on my online order um, but I'm just finding I really need to look after it a bit better so I'm hoping this is a moisturising shampoo for dry damaged hair um, so I'm hoping it will work amazingly let's hope so fingers crossed um and then i got this which is a foaming cleanser which i i've just got a new like um cleansing brush which is vibrating it's really good and this i hope will be really good to use with it to just foam and just get that extra cleanse done after i not after my normal cleanse and then this is just a lip gloss. They do really nice lip glosses. I've got quite a few of theirs and I actually don't know where the other two are. I think Matilda's still in them. So um, I've just got one of more of those. Other things that have arrived today is 
this little star so this is from little cloud here we are I'll put their website below I've also ordered some of their sticky stars so these are going to go up on the wall in the girls bedroom so they look you can buy them with Liberty fabrics and all sorts but aren't they beautiful so you just peel back off and you can stick them into a pattern it's got little instructions but they're gorgeous and little ones and big ones so I thought they'd be really pretty on their wall also some bunting I'm not quite sure if this is gonna go now um, I might have to give this to Raph and he's got so much bunting in there anyway I do quite like it though or maybe I'll put it outside with my new blue umbrella I haven't showed you that yet have I I'm gonna show you that tomorrow it's amazing Good morning. So the kitchen is due to arrive today. We've pushed everything up there in the hope that they will bring it up the stairs. It says they can only bring it up six stairs. Well, there's way more than six stairs. <laughs> so it doesn't look like they're going to bring it up the stairs. But I'm feeling hopeful and uh, I'm getting ready to cry on them and say, please help me um, and see if they will bring it up here. I very much doubt it. So I think they're going to leave it outside. And let's hope it doesn't rain because I'm somehow going to have to get it all up here. My sister had part of a kitchen delivered the other day and it took up half a room. So I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. But I think we're just going to have to live with it here until my husband has time to put it together. <laughs> so we've got everything's in place here. All the electrics are ready to go in. The waste pipe's going down there. We've got taps there for the sink, bits for the dishwasher plugs over there for the fridge freezer and the oven etc obviously we haven't actually bought any of this i keep saying to husband we need to buy it i think he's just looking for the best deals around uh, and then this is the wire here which is coming up from the floor that is going to be for the island which will go here so yeah i'm uh, very very excited it does say that it could come today which is friday or tomorrow um, so I'm not quite sure when anyway I'm heading off to Leeds this morning I'm going to the hairdresser um, to get these black roots covered and then I'm gonna pop into some home shops to look for things for the girls bedroom just to finish it off we've obviously got a bed arriving we've got new mattresses arriving next week ready for this room I'm really thinking I want to paint these beams and make them lighter anyone know any hacks I think I'm going to start searching Pinterest. It is Friday evening and I'm back from Leeds now. I had a really good shopping trip, but way too much. I went to H&M um, Home and Primark Home and got loads of bits for the girls. So I'll try and show you some of those things tomorrow. I am dressed up now because I'm heading out um, for a mum's night out at our local pub and it's all local mums from school that are all going out so I'd be really excited to catch up with some of them. Some of them are new and some of them are starting in September so I'm really looking forward to meeting some new people. Uh, it's a lovely evening so we might be able to sit outside there, I hope so. I've got my denim jacket just in case um, but anyway I'm not sure I'll probably video while I'm there but I will be on here tomorrow showing you what I have bought. Good morning, um, so <laughs> this arrived last night. The guys that delivered it were amazing actually and they helped carry it up the stairs. Uh, I didn't think they were going to at all and it was 9.45 by the time they got to us so they had done three other drop-offs and we were the last ones and they were just lovely, really, really nice. So if I just make my way over to the corner, I think these are pan drawers, I think. I'm not sure. And then this is 
the extent of what we've got to do and we've got to make this basically when I say we my husband is going to make this and I'm going to tell him what to do we've got the big tall units over there one's for the oven one is a pulley out cupboard I think and one I don't know what that is I'm really confused anyway um I'm so excited literally beyond um excited like I've been waiting for this kitchen now for three years and I'm so, 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 so happy it's finally here. Uh, I can't wait to show you all in a little bit more detail. We're going to open it up later and just check all the units. You've got 10 days to just check. Everything is not bashed or ruined maybe when it was being, when they packaged it up and trapped, when it was in the van, I mean. Um, and so you have to report those now. So we're just going to check everything and then try and work out where everything goes. And then my husband, who's at work at the moment, is going to start work on it. He might start tomorrow. What's that one? I don't know what those are. Anyway, so you can see <laughs> it's chaos. It's literally chaos. But I'm so happy it's here. Good afternoon, the sun has been shining here, it's been beautiful today. Unfortunately, I've been pretty much tidying and cleaning this area. The girls have just been colouring out here. We've got up the new parasol, which I absolutely love. Look at that blue. It's wooden. Can you see here? So on this side, this is where it is from. They have a few different colours, but I was either going to go for the green or the blue, but I absolutely love it. It's really quite heavy though, so it bends on itself now. I mean, it comes in a bag. I don't know what I've done with the bag now. But it's really nice, and then you can tilt it as well. I absolutely love it. I've got my white company bunting up as well. And this is just such a lovely place to sit. So if you look out over here, you can see our view. So that is the church. It's all lit up at night and it's just stunning. So we can sit out and watch this from our little balcony, which is here. And then this is the area where we eat. Here we go, so you can see. I'm about to go and get ready now because we are off out tonight for to a 40th birthday party. So I can't wait for that. It's going to be outside, it's going to be lovely and hot. What great weather for a birthday party. So it's Sunday evening. I've still got lots of boxes. I'm not quite sure what that is. Hmm, I'm intrigued. This is the cupboard, so you can see them now. I absolutely love them. Look at the... So they're in frame, and then look at how they're shut. Oh, that is really sexy. I love that. So I'm now thinking about handles and what to do. I was going to go with cup handles. Now I'm really not sure. I've just seen a kitchen that's exactly the same as this and they've put like little silver knobs on and it looks really good. So far we've got, this is the sink unit that's gone in over here. We've taken out the windowsill. When I say we, obviously I've done none of this. James has. This is the worktop. We were just looking at how thick it was because it's going to go here. I don't really understand why there's a hole there. It's a bit odd. Not sure about that. We've also got to walk around, work around this ridiculous boiler too. This is the fridge freezer unit here, which I'm really pleased with. So this is the, the door that's not in frame because it's a fridge freezer. It's made to look like it's in frame, but it's not. Whereas all the others are, um, the other units. Anyway, that's the progress we've made. Um, so let's see what the new week brings, shall we? I can't see the TV from here. <laughs> so we're actually just going to give up and go to bed. Anyway, see you next time on the next vlog um, when hopefully this will have progressed a little bit more have a lovely week and don't forget to subscribe to this video thank you